I'm Brian Glanz, and this is Learn at GitLab. Today we will share how to use GitHub Actions to trigger GitLab CI and CD. Because CI and CD from GitLab are several years more mature, there are many features that make life easier for developers, like Auto DevOps or Review Apps, and with capabilities that you cannot find in GitHub Actions. You don't want to lose hours of your life in config, but your code is on GitHub. No problem. You can use GitHub Actions to trigger CI and CD pipelines from GitLab. And my colleague Itzik Ganbaruch will show us how to do it. Hi, my name is Itzik Ganbaruch, Senior Technical Marketing Manager at GitLab. I'm frequently asked if it's possible to create GitHub Action that triggers GitLab CI CD pipeline. So let's create it now. Great. So to create action that will trigger GitLab CI CD pipeline, we will go to actions and we'll create a new workflow. And we will use this link, set up a workflow yourself. So it creates for me a basic a template code. We'll call it the CI CD. And here is the rules when it will trigger this uh, workflow. It will trigger on a push and pull request on uh, this branch. And uh, uh, here are the jobs. We have one job called build that will run on Ubuntu latest. And here are the steps, the job steps, actually the task that uh, will run as part of this job. The first uh, task it offers me is to do a checkout, but we don't need it because we don't need to check out the code in this step because the code is uh, available in GitLab. Trigger. And we can just remove this code lines. And now we will uh, add uh, the important step, which is uh, trigger GitLab CI CD pipelines. We have two options to make that. One is using the shell. So give it a name, trigger pipeline, and run. Uh, and we will use GitLab API for trigger pipelines. So it will be line of code like this one. We will just need to replace the token, the name of the branch, and of course the URL of your instance, and the project ID. So this is one option it will and it will work but oh, let's uh, see another example how to make it so I will just delete the, those lines and we'll on the right side we have the marketplace for actions so I will search for GitLab and I see I have a, a few here for GitLab so I will select the second one and this is the actual uh, code I will click here to copy it to my clipboard and then I will paste this code, I will fix the indentation and I will explain you uh, what this code. First it uses the, this action, uh, this is actually the repository and the, the version of that repository and uh, here are the parameters that uh, this action uh, needs. First of all is the host, the default is uh, gitlab.com so I can remove those lines because I'm using gitlab.com. You need a token in order to have permissions to trigger a GitLab CI CD pipeline. So I will open uh, my project and I will go to the CI CD settings and go to pipeline triggers, expand it and create trigger, call it GitLab actions. Add tri trigger and this is the token that I need. I will go back and paste it. And we need to specify the branch. Great. And the project ID, I will go back to the settings and take the project ID, copy, and paste it here. And last parameter is optional debug let's set it to true so i think we are all set so we just commit this code 
and I will go back to GitLab to configure the CI CD settings. It's very simple. Check this checkbox and then select deployment strategy and save changes. This is all of the CI CD settings that I needed to do. Of course, we have a more advanced setting with the YAML configuration that you can uh, customize your, your settings and uh, add or remove jobs. But for starting, we really recommend to use the Auto DevOps because Auto DevOps, it's not only that it sets for you all of the CI CD, it's also based on years of experience and best practices that GitLab offers for CI CD. I will go back to actions and see what is status of my uh, job. And this is uh, the job, I will open it. This is the build job. And I see it passed all of the steps. So it's actually triggered the pipeline in GitLab. So I can go back to GitLab to pipelines. Yeah, indeed, a new pipeline just started. And this is a visualization of my pipeline. We call it a pipeline graph. It shows me uh, all of the jobs and the stages uh, in GitLab. So we have here a few stages, build, test, review, dust, performance, and clear up that will run sequentially. And each stage is made of one or more jobs in it. So first it will take my code, build it, and create a Docker image from it, and will publish it in the built-in container registry here. So in GitLab, we have built-in container registry. It saves you a lot of time. You don't need to have account in the third-party registry. Also, in the job settings, you don't need to specify any credentials and any the name of the, the repository. Everything is done automatically via the auto DevOps that sets for me, and it will push it automatically. Then it will run a few tests for code quality, security, license compliance. Great. All test jobs just completed. The next stage is to deploy a review application. The job will take the Docker image of the developer's branch and deploy it to Kubernetes. So the developer will have a live instance of his personalized branch. This is very useful for the review process. And now, because we have a live instance, we can run performance and dynamic application security testing on that instance. And when the developer will be ready to merge his code, the cleanup jobs will stop those uh, review environments. So just to recap about what we see here, uh, this uh, pipeline represents GitLab best practices for continuous integration. It empowers developers with the feedback they need, and all of this configuration doesn't require any efforts from the developer. Great, as we have just seen, we can empower GitLab actions with Auto DevOps by GitLab. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon again at my next videos.